Pokemon Trainer. Alright, so in the same as the semi final, we have Zord on Palutena and Marty on Pokemon Trainer. On, fittingly for Marty, Pokemon Stadium. Good job of not getting hit by that unknowingly cursing it. And sure enough, in relatively short order, Jordan manages to equalize it. Marty's switching to the Ivysaur, I'm not sure what he's hoping to win, but it is a lot. The two players briefly separated by only 5%. Fishing for a beat kill? I can't help but feel like that might be what he's fishing for. Oh, punches the whiffed explosive flame whip and is that enough for over it? No, can't stop. Definitely in the advantage stage. And all Mario needs is one good hit like that! And that's Jordan's first stock of this Rose semi-final, Dawn. Marty switching to the Charizard, and then switching to the Squirtle. And is it time for it? It's time for Squirtle combos once more. Maybe. If Marty's Squirtle doesn't get obliterated by the end of that match. That's a big stroke of flame. But Marty's unable to punish it. In fact, cured punishing Marty for failing to punish. Above an item. Good lord. Like you got up, you got up there, you got neutral. You got up the exactly like that, and then you take your second stop. Ivy Sword just has so much dangerous stuff that hits above them, either directly or at an angle. And you're that not something you want to Go ahead and help me commentate. Loser semis. Probably a two frame actually. In this case, that is something you'll have to be aware of. Oh snap, is that the retro bot? Yeah. That's done. Pretty good. Cool, cool. So what do you think of the 30 seconds of this match you've seen so far? Yes. <laughs> you sort of have a lot of weird kill options this game. Your could die at any second, or Marty could just use the Charizard, who has a lot of not weird kill options at any second. And that will be game one to Marty. <laughs> yeah, no. Nope. I'm gonna go back to my apartment and pound a two-liter mellow yellow. Yeah, 
Mellow Yellow. Oh, Quinn. I'm gonna grab my head. Alright, so going into this game two, I wasn't paying attention to stage selection. Whoops, FD, FD Battlefield. Still. Jordan not letting Marty get to anywhere near as much of an advantage as he did last game, especially dunking. Artie's Pokemon into the abyss like that. That is a very early start for Fjord. He has done a thing he needs if he wants to take this second game and reclaim the momentum. God, that's such a satisfying up there to land. I want to learn this character so I But there are just not enough hours in the day. I want to learn all the characters. I believe 275. Yeah, 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 that number includes that guys. So if you can, that goes as not their own character, then it's just 70. And I'd argue that. But I've already learned Pikachu somewhat well, so, so that makes it 69. Nice. Ooh, you're probably going to be facing the other one. I know, right? We're going to get that three. I'm not going to go, but I can not Pretty much able to completely ignore any of Marty's attempt at edge guarding. Stupid teleport. So that totally not overrated Nair takes Marty down to his last stop in this game. He's going to need to start a comeback right about now if he wants to win this game. <laughs> two up is doing a lot of damage time. You're a chill. <laughs> how I managed to figure out Charizard's back air, but uh... Hooey! Charizard's back air! <laughs> Jordan missed timing his up smash edge guard. Probably would've hit like a truck if timed properly. Probably would've ended the game if timed properly. Up air completely whiffs against the short character like Squirrel. Now it's up to Mind Spidey sort of possibly send this to game three. With each hit Marty gets, this comeback gets just that little bit easier. And now it's 30%. That's depending on the character, that's a negligible difference. Somewhere that seems to be where Retrobot is going, and once again, I am alone. Stop. Pokemon Three. Um, oh crap, 
I forget which one it is. I'd know these stages better. The ocean stages are actually super weird because they've got that downward slope at the edge makes certain edge guards actually really good. Like most characters down tilt work a lot better on a slope like that. I first noticed this while playing about the music we seen it earlier today while waiting for the second days. So it'll be interesting to see if either of these players actually uses that property in this game. Meanwhile, Gior takes Marty's first dog off and that off stage. Is that a back air? Lead and short enough. Marty gets the kill, so he's basically even. Okay, so Marty attempting to switch back to Wurgle, taking two straight hits in the process, getting punished for each switch, and then George just kind of dunks Marty's Squirtle into the abyss. This is supposed to be a fun, happy, peaceful stage. Good lord, we're ruining it with your violence. Marty now down to his last stock of this game. Lord having a commanding position to have all the momentum in the world. Already extending his lead to a full stock and behind. Marty, obviously, would prefer if this, was not, if this were to not continue. He wants to win this game, too. But Jordan is just ready for everything Marty does. Except maybe that. <laughs> Ooh, what was that? Was that a piece? As with during game two, both of these players down to their last stock of this game. And once again, it's Marty who's at the disadvantage, although this is far from insurmountable. So Marty is having a difficult time asserting his, his control over any part of this stage, especially after the late hitbox on George Pups with a lot more damage in the knockback. Is the back throw enough? No, not at this percent. Marty's gonna see the Charizard. And the dash attack also not enough. At some point, Marty Flores is gonna release the deciding move, and it's going to be Fjord's explosive flame. Three goes to Fjord, one more, and he advances to the Losers' Finals. Both players taking some time to collect themselves. Game going to be very important. Marty's tournament life on the line. Sounds like they've made a decision. Where are they going? It's the Kalos Pokemon. We have not seen much of this stage today.
Alright, so this is possibly the place of being four going to be in the hell of Pokemon theme. Not only the kiddingly being Steven's champion theme. Dark, but yours equalizing. God, that match is the most adorable up tilt in the game. Let me tell you, tears were decided entirely by the team for up tilt. Squirtle would be like top tier. Meanwhile, Fjord completely biffed a recovery, and now Marty has a much needed stop. Why are you just trying something over the rapid jab? Oh, the shield in dire straits after that action. Should be fine right about now, but still, that is not a comfortable position to be in. Oh, it could be worse. It's not like Hall of Fame is any shield breaker. That would be just an insane. Oh, that that Hall of Fame is back here. Almost enough to kill Marty's portal, but not enough. Marty's going to switch into the baby sword. Approach, get back down, this is why we don't approach. Just like in general. Are you trying to play keep away with these razor lights and wanting to safely rack up the percent? I, I assume that at a certain percentage, he's either going to start going out his kill moves or switch to Charizard and start going out his kill moves. Are you attempting to read George's recovery? Back off in air, which I have now learned is unsafe, but Fjord is their punished back throw. Every hit pretty much rises Marty's lead, except for that. That hit equalizes the stock, although it is worth noting that Marty is still up by over 100%. Fjord's unable to punish. And now Marty in the advantage state. Oh, Charizard back air. Another stock from Marty. And now, Marty is one stock away from equalizing the set, sending it to the first game five of the evening. There's a lead on the stream. I don't know how many games Marty Sillity went to, but... It can be safe to assume that it was at least three, and at most five. Every one of Squirtle's moves is freaking cute! Ugh. I want to learn this character just for that alone. Oh, and here comes the Ice Sword. Here comes the Charizard. Oh, the Flare Blitz is blocked. Honestly, a throw and not really anything else. Oh, there's the Charizard back air. Again. Time to edge guard with the mountain doesn't work. It's a get up attack? Jordan now wants to come back. Although so is Marty. And Marty actually kills the ship. No! Did not, not enough. That Charizard is very strong, but not strong enough. Just still go either way. We land the gas attack once again. Strong but not strong enough. Stuart now at 169%. And Fjord will continue to be at that amount as he fast throws Marty's charger into oblivion, equalizing the stock. If he can somehow manage to take this shot, he advances to the losers' finals. If not, we're going to gain the five. Ooh, 
does that portal is either a fair or a fair, I don't know which. Almost enough to kill, but still not quite. Very close to its end. Just a matter of who it lands with the ultimate blow. Is it? No! Impeccable DI. But that back throw does it for real. Marty not letting that lead slip, taking this to game five. Where on earth is game five going to be? Ooh. You're deciding to take it back to the Kalos Pokemon League, choosing the top tier Cynthia theme. A plus choice, will it be the power up he needs or Will it be more of a power up some Marty? Two, one, go! And here we go, game five. This Lulu semi-final. Once again, the the winner of this game will face Retrobot in the Lulu final. Both players coming up the intensity. They both want their tournament lives to continue. There can be only one. Like it now, Marty is making a case. Finally getting a huge punish on Fjord's teleport recovery. First time we've seen the, I think that's the down smash from Squirtle. It is not just this set, but possibly also this day. First I've seen it. Marty just taking full advantage of the advantage. Ooh. That back throw just looks good. It looks like for a brief moment, Portal is channeling the spirit or something like that. I digress. Marty has half a percent worth. Really all he needs is one solid hit, and believe it or not, that was it. First stock taken from the Fjord, and now Marty has a convincing advantage. Fjord wants to narrow that gap because Fjord wants to continue in this tournament. Fjord wants to face Retrobot, Fjord wants to face Babunga, but first he has to get through Marty. Marty is not going to make it easy for Fjord. After building nearly 40% of extra credit, Marty switches to Charizard. Well, he's pretty much a kill for all of his Pokemon. I lied, that would have killed Squirtle or Ivysaur, but it's the Nair near the top of the screen that ultimately takes the first stop. So, so Marty's back on his Squirtle. This is the Pokemon we've seen do what I'd say is the most total work for him. He gets the hits in neutral, he gets the combo. Ivy Sword and Squirt and Charizard. It feels like he goes for almost as a different sort of show off. Seems like the impression that I get. Already holding on to a 50% advantage. Trying to hold on to the best he can. This could be the difference between winning and losing. Real distance is the stocks. Who's going to take whose last stock first? That's really all that matters in this game. Check the hip on it right there. Oh my god. Marty switching to the guard, probably gonna start fishing for back air. Honestly, 
actually to get under a platform, an up throw might also do the trick. Hoping that one of them hits just hard enough to take the stock lead. Instead, it's the up air that takes the stock. Marty now possibly on his last stock of the tournament. He needs to stay in business for as long as possible. And sure enough, that powerful back throw equalizes the stocks. There are now 12% separating these two players. On, on what will be one of their final stock of the day. And Marty is making it easy. For the survivor of this match, he needs him. But of course, Stuart has a case of his own. He's able to prevent it to be quite the opposite. Marty dodging the Palutena up, up there, which, for all I know, could be fatal if I can send him out tonight. Switches to Ivysaur and starts to continue laying in the heat. Which, yeah, as well as ironic, and Charizard is a thing, but. That one does some good damage. Both of these players now approaching kill percent. This is going to be what's going to be the decisive move 